to begin this video, let me just tell you that the title of the video is clickbait. I don't think that this is a prophetic word, but this is this video is probably going to be more accurate than any other video entitled prophetic word about the election that you might watch. So maybe keep watching it. Also, I didn't, I've been meaning to make this video for a long time. It's like 1.30 in the morning. Just had a shower. I hate my hair when it's wet like this. So bear with me. Anyway, I'm going to make some videos talking about political implications of the result of the election. But this is more of a biblical implication of the result of the election. <laughs> it's fascinating. Uh, Joe Biden one presidency is gonna 20th 20th january uh democrats won the house i mean it was expected but they won by much less than it was expected and uh, the worst the worst of all the democrats have a slim majority in the senate and some people i, I saw christians like oh we should be celebrating no 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 let me tell you what this is what I think it is. This, the result of this election, is the judgment of God on a nation. Maybe not just a nation, because what happens in the United States kind of like spreads around the Western world and even beyond. This is the judgment of God on a godless nation. A nation where people don't need God, a nation that hates the Word of God, a nation that twists the Word of God for their own benefit, a nation that hates God. This is the judgment of God on, on a nation. This is the judgment of God on an adulterous nation. A nation that thinks that sex means nothing. Whatever. Let's just do whatever. That doesn't turn to God to understand what it, what it really means. Marriage means nothing. Whatever. Let's just do whatever we want. It's the judgment of God on a perverted nation, a nation <laughs> that perverts and con continually perverts the natural order of things. God created male and female, good and evil. I'm not saying that he created evil, that's a, a, a different discussion. But from the beginning, in the beginning, the Bible has very clear distinctions about things, man, woman good, evil. And here you have a nation and a generation that to them, there's no such thing as man and woman. There's no such thing as good and evil. Good is evil. Evil is good. The Bible has dire warnings for people who call good evil and evil good. I mean, what even is good? Is there even a good? It's all relative. It's judgment of God. This is the judgment of God on a murderous nation, a nation that thinks that killing a new, an, a, a, an unborn baby in the safest place it could possibly be is whatever. It's okay. But it's my body, my choice. It's whatever I want to do. And then when you point out, they come and say, you're not really pro-life because you don't care about the kids who were born and the families and this and that and that, because they don't have arguments to disprove the fact that what they are for is evil to the core. So they have to go and try to point the finger at someone else. They try, they try to make themselves better than the people who are right, righteously telling them that what you're doing is evil, and that what they stand for is evil, because they have nothing else to say. I suggest, actually I don't, but try, getting, try coming to God with that argument. Say, God, 
Why are you pro-life? What about the kids? They're dying of hunger here and there and this and that. Try that. But don't try that. Repent. 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 You don't want to be before God with that excuse because it's not going to work very well. Tell me, saints, what the Bible says. This is the judgment of God on an idolatrous nation. A nation that worships money, that worships things, that worships themselves, their future, their dreams, their plans, what they want, that worships politicians. And here I'm talking both to people who worship, worship Saint Hussein Obama and who worship representation. I made a whole video about that. Representation. Whoa, let's cry before in front of a TV and tears rolling down our eyes. But also <laughs> to people who worship Donald Trump and think that he is a man of God who came to save the nation. Please. Spare me. <laughs> spare me. Spare the world with this kind of crap, all of you, that I mentioned. There's no authority that is that exists without being given by God. Because at the end of the day, God is in control of everything. All authority on earth is given to the person by God. God used Donald Trump for a reason. Probably part of doing something good, maybe some mercy before before the the wrath comes. But also lately in the last two weeks, I'm like, I don't I don't even know anymore. Maybe this is the, the whole thing is the judgment. The whole it's bad. It is bad. It is bad. It is the judgment of God on a church that that is all those things that I said that uses the word of God to, to justify things that don't exist in the word of God that it, it's all about me my plans my dreams my things the things I want keep dreaming me 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 but then if you read the Bible you realize that it's not really about me because I am dead. If you're a Christian, you were dead. You were gone. So a church that is constantly focusing on me, 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 maybe they are not Christians because they don't seem to be dead. And... I can't, I can't even. And then you see, gosh, the, 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 what is going on? What is going on? A church that believes more in dreams and visions and, and words from God than the actual trusted for centuries word of God. This is the judgment of God on a nation and on a church that is perverted by the world. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> the, the, the people, the people, gosh, it's the, the idolatry is so bad that you see people going and being like, uh, fighting, I mean... What happened is is like what happened by that invasion of the capital. What the, what the heck was that? People with probably good intentions. It's the same thing. People who go and burn a target and they have good intentions. I understand. They 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 want to do something good. But do you not trust God? Do you not trust that God is in control? Are you taking judgment with your own hands? It's against anything and everything that, that the Bible teaches for Christians. It's, it's the opposite of what we should be doing. 
This is the judgment of God on all of this, and probably more, because we're so sinful, we're so far from what God wants for, for us. And this is not just the fault of the world, but it's also the fault of the church. And hopefully, hopefully people are going to, instead of being dreaming in, in their, their minds, justifying prophecies that didn't come to pass, or maybe even if it was a prophet that said that Biden was going to win. And no, it's, it's unlikely. Instead of justifying prophecy, quote unquote prophecies, instead of justifying and, and saying, no, 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 don't stop prophesying, prophesy more. We should all sh shut up and align yourself with the word of God, not with the words of your minds. Don't, and, the war, and people celebrating. Oh, great. Those who are celebrating, the Christians were celebrating, you're so blind. May God have mercy and grace and open your eyes. There's nothing to celebrate. This is the judgment of God. And I think what every Christian should be doing instead of celebrating is getting down on their knees and praying and asking God in, in your wrath, like the prophet Habakkuk, 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 in your wrath, remember mercy. It's what we should be praying right now. That in the midst of this, that God will have mercy, that the church will reform itself and go back to the truth of the word. That people are going to stop worshiping themselves and their dreams and their plans and what they want. And they will start listening to God and what he wants and obeying the word of God and what he wants. And you might not be very happy with what I'm saying, but listen, you, you might you might start pointing fingers at me and you this you that whatever it's whatever it's not, it's not about me this is not about me i'm just relaying what i think is in the bible and again i could be wrong that's why i said this is not a this is not a prophecy this is not a prophecy but my advice is instead of celebrating instead of fighting with your own hands Instead of doubling down on fake prophecies, you should bow down your knees, read the Bible, and repent, and repent, and repent. Turn around, reform the church, go back to the Word of God, repent. That's it.